Hello, thanks for joining me once again on the Silvio Gassel Institute YouTube channel. From the beginning, this channel has been something of an experiment. Since 2007, I've been a student and proponent of the economic theories of Silvio Gassel. I'm convinced that more than any other economist in history, he understood the root causes of the most important defects in our economic system and offered concrete proposals designed to fix them. In my view, Silvio Gassel is the most important economist who ever lived. However, in 15 years of advocating for these ideas, it's become clear to me just how far from the mainstream the Gasellian perspective currently is. There's no one in the United States government or in the government of any other country that I'm aware of who is advocating for policies based on Gasell's theories. What's more, at least in the United States, I'm not aware of anyone in the world of academic economics who is actively investigating or promoting these ideas either. The vast majority of people, economists and non-economists alike, are completely unaware that Silvio Gassel ever lived. So it's the purpose of this YouTube channel to start building an awareness of Gassel from square one. The assumption is that most people are coming to this with no prior knowledge of Gassel, and in many cases, no formal economics training. So the intention is to develop an understanding of his ideas, while at the same time covering some of the basic concepts and questions at the heart of the field of economics generally. In order to understand fully the significance of Gassel's analysis, one really needs to have some understanding of how his ideas fit in the history of economic thought. So my approach has been to try to present the historical development of economics as a theoretical and practical discipline alongside a step-by-step -step explanation of Gassel's theories. The reason for approaching it this way is because I want to make this discussion accessible to as many people as possible. Too many economics discussions sound something like this. The volume of employed resources is duly determined, according to the classical theory, by the two postulates. The first gives us the demand schedule for employment. The second gives us the supply schedule. And the amount of employment is fixed at the point where the utility of the marginal product balances the disutility of the marginal employment. What the hell does that even mean? That was from the first couple pages of the General Theory of Employment, Interest, and Money by John Maynard Keynes, which is widely considered to be the most important economics book of the 20th century. I first tried to read the General Theory when I was in my 20s. I read about 10 pages and gave up. I only finally made it all the way through the book within the past couple years. So obviously, if that's the way that economics ideas are communicated and discussed, most people will be excluded from the conversation. The most that an ordinary person can hope to do is to pick a favorite expert who he or she believes is qualified and trustworthy and defer to that person's judgment on economic questions that the person doesn't understand for him or herself. In my view, that's not acceptable. First of all, economics is too important a subject to be entrusted to the so-called experts. Economic policies and, institu and institutions affect all of our lives, and most of us are aware by now that we can't necessarily count on others to make decisions which are in our best interests. Furthermore, I don't believe that economics has to be an impenetrable subject which the average person can't make sense of. I believe it's possible to talk about fundamental economic questions in terms that are understandable and accessible to everyone. So this channel and the videos we're making are designed with two purposes in mind. The first is to explain and advocate for the economic theories of Silvio Gassel. But perhaps even more important and fundamental is to encourage and empower people to take ownership of and responsibility for their economic lives. And the only way to do that is to help everyone learn to think about economics and to understand that it's their right and their duty to actively engage with this subject, which has such profound effects on all of us. So even if I fail to convince you that Silvio Gassel's proposals are the best way to address our economic problems, if I help you achieve a greater level of familiarity and comfort with the subject of economics, and a commitment to taking a more active involvement in shaping our collective economic future, then this channel will have been a success. For the last few months, I've recorded and shared a series of videos intended to serve those purposes. But at this point, I've decided to delete all of those videos and start over from the beginning. 
There are a number of reasons for this. First, there are technical issues that need to be improved. For starters, I need to buy a microphone and some better lights. But beyond the technical issues, I believe the economic content could be presented in a more organized and understandable manner. I started making these videos with a general idea of where I was headed, but I didn't have a clear picture of what the series would look like from start to finish. Now I have a better understanding of that, and I believe I can do a better job of making the information clear and accessible. I also plan to include Spanish subtitles on all future videos, since the organization under whose umbrella I'm doing all of this is based in Argentina. There's a community of academics and activists in Argentina, Chile, and Peru who are involved in a variety of projects and initiatives related to Gassel's theories, from building one of the largest barter networks in the world to developing the first university-level curriculum dealing with Gassel's theories and proposals. Unfortunately, up until now, all of this has only been accessible to people who speak Spanish. As one of the few native English speakers in this organization, one of my key functions is to help bridge the gap caused by the language barrier. As the international coordinator for the Silvio Gassel Institute, my goal is to foster a worldwide conversation about Gassel's ideas. So in addition to my own videos on Gassel's theory, we also plan to include content from the other members of the Gassel Institute in Spanish, which we'll publish on this channel with English subtitles. So as I pre prepare to start over, I'd like to invite anyone who has watched the videos on this channel to provide constructive criticism and feedback. For that purpose, I'm going to host a Zoom meeting to solicit comments, questions, and suggestions. I understand that economics is an intimidating subject for most people, and it would be enormously helpful for me to know how I can communicate this information as effectively as possible. As I said, my goal with this channel is not to convince you to trust me or to trust Gassel. It's to convince you to trust your own understanding of these critically important issues. I believe that the truth of Silvio Gassel's analysis is self-evident, but I'm not asking you to take my word for that. I'm inviting you to engage in a conversation so that you can develop your own understanding of the subject and decide what you think makes the most sense and what kind of economic system you want to see implemented in the world. We're going to hold this meeting on Wednesday, October 6th at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. If you'd like to participate, please send me an email and I'll send you a Zoom invite. I'll leave my email address in the description below. Thanks again, and please subscribe to this channel so you'll be alerted when we start publishing the new series of videos. Thanks for watching.